What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I talked about the iPhone SE 2 and let me tell you guys right now, okay? I'm doing an iPhone giveaway. I should have said this probably at the end, but I'm giving away four iPhones, literally one every week starting this Sunday. So first thing in the description, go watch that video, you can enter. But with the iPhone SE 2, man, this is some crazy stuff because in my opinion, and I'm not even just hyping it up, I really honestly do think that the iPhone SE 2 is probably going to get released. Now, before I was like 99% positive, right now, maybe I'm like 98% positive, but I'm still pretty sure that this thing's going to be released. But one of the common things and one of the common, I guess, counterpoints to a lot of my renders and a lot of things that I've been talking about is that maybe the iPhone SE 2 isn't even going to look like the iPhone 10, it's going to look like the iPhone SE, just or I guess an updated version, maybe with a glass bag, this and that. And I'm right there with you too, in my opinion. And I've said this in a video before if the iPhone SE 2, let's say it does get released, and if it does look like the original iPhone SE, I don't think that's a failure. I still think that's a pretty good device. I think if they improved on the internals. I think that's really all that matters. Now, the renders I've been making are kind of what I'm hoping it to be. And I honestly do think it will on it probably look like that. But surprisingly enough, the design of this phone, in my opinion, kind of relies on a device that is also going to be released this year in the next coming months. And if this device actually ends up looking like what I think it's going to look like, then the iPhone SE 2 is going to look like the iPhone 10 or the 10s or whatever. But if it looks like the older design, then the iPhone SE, if it is released, is probably going to look like the older devices. Now, that one specific device, and there's kind of two, but it's mostly the one, is the iPad mini fifth generation. Okay, now this is supposed to be released sometime soon. And a lot of people are saying that it's pretty much just an internal refresh. The outside is still going to look the same as the iPad mini four. And in my opinion, I think the iPad mini four didn't look ugly. You know, I think it looked pretty good. As you can see, I mean, it doesn't look like the ugliest thing ever. One crucial thing about the iPad mini though, is that especially the fourth one is that it does have the home button and touch ID within it. So think about it like this. If the iPad mini five were to come and bring the home button still within it, that would just mean that Apple is still going Going to you know they still envision a future with the home button and with touch id now i do think they're going to bring a fingerprint sensor in the screen eventually preferably this year but if apple is going to go and still make products with the home button then i could totally see the iphone sc bringing that home button design but as we've seen apple has been re totally removed away from that obviously they're still developing home buttons for the iphone 8 plus and 8 and, and whatever but I think as a whole for them to go and release a new product, I honestly think they're going to move away from the home button design and look at the iPad Pros that were released last year. Not the one that was released early last year, but the one later, that's just a couple months ago. Those ones do not have home buttons. So that kind of makes me think that the iPad mini fifth generation also might not have it. And if Apple's going to go and totally revolutionize their whole entire product lineup, they would have to go and release another product that does not have a home button because they want to streamline that whole entire thing. So in my opinion, in a lot of ways, I could totally see Apple removing the home button because honestly, another thing is that it reduces the whole entire cost of the phone. I mean, yeah, they have to make the extra couple inches of the screen or whatever, but they wouldn't have to manufacture face. They wouldn't have to manufacture touch ID. They wouldn't have to manufacture home button. And I feel like in the long run, that could save Apple and I guess a whole lot of money because, because they're spending less money on those products. Of course, they have to put in face ID sensors, but I think as a whole, they would end up saving more money if they cut out the home button, just put extra screen there. So the design of this phone, and if it is eventually released, kind of relies on the iPad mini fifth generation, in my opinion. It's kind of weird how those two things kind of tie up together. But as I see it right now, Apple's kind of going to go away from the home button design and go straight into the bezel-less display with the notch. That's honestly what I see them doing. But again, once the iPad mini fifth generation comes out, that's when we're going to see a trend and hopefully see, you know, what Apple's going to bring. Now, either way, like I said, I'll be perfectly fine with whatever. I'm pretty sure they're going to take like the iPhone 8 internals or the iPhone 10 internals and put it in the iPhone SE. I'm pretty sure they're going to go with the iPhone 10 internals, mostly because that one had three gigs of RAM, and right now the newest iPhones have four gigs of RAM, besides the iPhone XR, so I could totally see Apple at least putting three gigs of RAM in the iPhone SE 2. They're probably going to end up pricing it around $500, so that's totally what I see them doing. They're going to put wireless charging in it, the Apple A11 chip, maybe the A12 chip, or for lucky, but most probably the A11 chip. The notch display, like I said, no headphone jack, nothing like that. Wireless charging, glass back, I'm pretty sure. I mean, how else will the wireless you charge? But that's kind of going in the nitty gritty you know I, the outside of the phone is what i'm mostly excited for yeah they're going to refresh the internals but i think it'd be really cool if we were to get this design and and again i would be way more happy if they were to release this phone with a notch on the display without the home button or anything but if they do also bring the home button back on an iphone i don't think it'd be that big of a deal either i think it would still be considered a win so all in all man hopefully the iphone se2 gets released again i'm pretty sure it is because apple's just trying to drop as many products to make a ton of money so i guess we'll see what happens man but that is pretty much it 
If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it'll mean so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, my giveaway, all those things are going down in the description below, so make sure you guys check those out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.